Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. With Thanksgiving right around the corner and the holiday festivities in full swing, we wanted to share with you a couple of good collaborations that are coming across. And uh, let's start with, uh, in this video, let's start with the Dior's Carousel of Dream, which has been uh, in collaboration with Saks Fifth Avenue. We'll start with watching a little video. And after that, uh, I'll take you through a couple of pictures of the collaboration that have been released. And finally, we'll discuss one small item which kind of which shows us that even though sax is collaborating with dior and you have windows uh, dressed with uh, dior collaboration but still at the same time news has come out that sax is not being paying its vendors for months let's start with the video first The video is accompanied with sound, but I think because of the software that I'm using, you're not able to hear the sound for that. My apologies for the same. The collaboration is named Carousel of Dreams and you just saw Jennifer Lawrence who is the brand ambassador for Dior. A very nicely done collaboration that is definitely to say. Uh, next I wanted to take you through a couple of pictures of the collaboration that have been released. These pictures focus on the important products of Dior, the Lady Dior bag, the perfumes by Dior, and the advent calendar of Dior. So this brings us to one of the other things that we wanted to discuss, which is an article that came across uh, in the business of fashion, which says that Saks owner, has raised 340 million, but at the same time, the retailer has not paid vendors for months. In fact, in some of the other articles that I was reading, it was said that ST Lauder might not be storing products for with Saks anymore. Similarly, a lot of other uh, brands might not be selling products through Saks anymore because now those products are not insured and they do not want to take the risk of still stocking with Saks when they might not be paid. So given this, uh, we I know that we are uh, at Thanksgiving, we are looking at collaborations and we are looking at the holiday windows and everything, but still at the same time, it does raise the risk that if retailers like Saks Fifth Avenue and retailers like Nordstrom are not doing very well, then where is this leading us to in the longer term? That is for another video for us to discuss. For example, Barney's was sold uh, and now Barney's uh, is under a licensing agreement with Authentic Brands gr uh, brand group. So these are some of the things that we wanted to ponder in different videos altogether. And I hope uh, you find these topics interesting and do stay tuned in for more. Thank you.